どうしたウィニー What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here today with a blue, yellow Pirates deck profile. Oh my god, the Kaizoku! 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 Blue, yellow Pirate deck profile here today. If this is your first time here and you want to see Shrippens every week, deck profiles from time to time, make sure to smush. That subscription button and if you're a returning member of the joe crew let's check out this pirate deck profile because this is right on brand for us and it's blue and yellow my favorite colors here it is this is the deck this is the deck box i love making deck boxes shiny cool stickers from super rose and choto minute choto minute i don't know how you say that anyway this is our guy this is the leader bojack subjugator unbound if you don't know what this guy does basically he combos bojack brigades out of your energy resolves the skills that they have when they get comboed and then you replace them with a card from the top of your deck when you awaken when you have three life or when you have a unison of four cost you flip them over draw two cards untap an energy very powerful he doesn't draw a ton but cards in the deck help you draw so lots of versatility on his awakened side you don't really use the pitch and untap because we're playing multicolor you are monocolor and you manage to just get monocolor into your energy at the end of the game which is possible you can use this effect to tap an energy pitch a card when a card attacks and untap for mono blue you can use cards in your energy to combo and he reduces all mono blue bojack brigade by one which is very useful so really fun leader not a huge fan of the art on the leader tbh thought the art could have been cooler there's lots of cool bojack images out there but not gonna argue first off we got two gokua the calamity this guy is just your searcher you play him for one search top five you can grab a unison or grab a bojack brigade three or less pretty simple and then once he's out on board you can activate battle tap one and make him a 15k crit which is pretty nice so he gets a little bit more utility than your normal just searcher and then i run one gokua pirate space pirate gokua because one of them are spicy it's a great looking card it's from set six six is my favorite number and it's just a good looking card and it helps get your arrival which i'll explain later running four of the zangia this card is so important you gotta have zangia in your deck because when she gets comboed out of your energy area you get to draw a card and your leader combos stuff out of your energy area so it gives combo power protects your leader a little, little bit and it draws you cards really really good card got to run four two of goku the evildoer this guy's good he can bottom deck a one drop when he comes into play so kind of useful to get rid of little weenies and you know he comes out and he's like Doshita, weenie. and he comes out and bottom decks a little weenie and and, you know then you have a 20k body on board which is nice so you know good 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 for one energy when you combo them out of your energy you can pay one and play them at the end of the battle which is pretty cool and then we got beto the evil doer i just like the art on this card he has like laser fingers he's about to drop some crazy techno beat but this guy's critical comes out for one energy if you play him defensively he also untaps an energy and you could bottom deck something as an activate main for one energy three or less so lots of utility on one card play one of though because it's spicy and then bojack the evil doer this card is so so good got to run four it's card Insane. comes out of your energy area after a battle you can pay to play it and bottom deck whatever so battle cards just go to the bottom of the deck it's not safe to invest in any battle card swing against this deck because of this card even if it's not in your energy there's ways to get it into your energy late game and i'll go into those but really really useful card it's also a 20k dual attack which is two of these bojack on a rampage this guy's good i don't really play him that much but he's a 10k combo out of your energy area which is nice and valuable double strike dual attack when he comes into play you tap four play him in rest mode when a battle card attacks you get to untap an energy so just lots of utility and he's very playable in the deck unison run is three Majin Buu, Agents of Destruction. This card is awesome. It's plus minus zero. You draw a card and at the beginning of your opponent's next turn, you're going to untap him as a blocker and untap one mono blue energy. Minus one, you just bottom deck a threat. So any battle card that they go in with on their turn, you can just bottom deck it. So once this guy's established, you really are controlling the tempo in a lot of different ways that they don't have a way to remove it like Kai or something like that. And then running three Galactic Busters. This card's awesome defensively. You combo it, draw a card, it goes into your energy, combo something out of your energy 1k mono blue and then you know a lot of those cards resolve skills and then we have ways of grabbing this back so really really good to filter and it's really nice to get more use out of your energy there's a lot of energy usage in this deck run a run a double bean split around two two of the old beans two of the anniversary beans and two of the new uh foil beans from evolution booster i just i like this art a lot better actually but you gotta give props to the beautiful foiling on the anniversary art bean is just really useful in this deck you don't draw an 
insane amount of cars. You can, but you usually don't. And it's really helpful to just put that extra 5K on your leader sometimes with a bean just to help you make it through a turn. I'm running three Zeno Edge of Space. This card is amazing in this deck because there's so much energy interaction. If you have a Galactic Buster in your energy, you can grab the Galactic Buster out with Zeno. If you want to put uh, a Bojack Evildoer into your energy, you can do that with Zeno. There's just, there's so many things you can do with Zeno that he's so necessary in this deck to play because there's a lot that you do defensively in combo steps. So this super combo is super, super value in this deck. Run two D magics. I know it's kind of crazy. I think three or four is the number, but I think this negate is good and you get energy back. But in this deck, you really don't negate a ton. There's a lot that happens in battle steps. So you don't find yourself using it that much. So I feel like two is safe. I run one chilled army reinforcement because I love making tokens. I keep this token in my deck. And uh, when I use this card, this turns into my token. And then if I can go for game next turn, I really always try and swing with her and try and win the game with a 10k token feels really good so i love this card it also gets around a lot of stuff like sell uh run another one in the sideboard two god ceiling card's really good uh you don't play your unison until turn four so i don't think you need more than two because you'll probably see one by then and the card's going to be dead in your hand that whole time anyway you also need a lot of bojack stuff in your hand and in your energy and everywhere to make things go off so the more stuff you run that's not bojack bojack the more risks you run on that note one baby golden avenger the uh spicy spicy one of winner uh shout out to jerry bishop got this boy on the at a sweet deal back when it was a hype hype and if it gets in there it gets in there if not it's a 1k mono blue so that helped all right blue yellow stuff we got this new blue yellow bojack pinpoint onslaught this is what makes the deck work is blue yellow so previously when you play multicolor decks you charge a multicolor turn one and it suffers energy exhaust and then you get it back the next following turns and play multicolor in this deck you're actually starting out mono blue once you have a bojack in you bojack's brigade in your energy area you can charge this guy ignoring energy exhaust so you get it right in active mode right away and you have a multicolor energy right away and what's really cool about him is he's going to give you your yellow energy so that you can arrival this violent rush bojack this card is awesome so it's basically it's barrier unique once per turn you can activate aegis defensively pitch a multicolor blue yellow untap two energy and draw a card just really really good lots of value out of him um, very useful card once it's established it's really hard to get rid of because he has barrier he's 20k and he's a seven drop so really good card to play uh and then we have our bojack resonant agent of destruction this card is really just mainly for your aegis you're going to pitch him off your aegis but it's also a blocker option you can get him in for one yellow energy as well so if you tap your yellow energy beam back your energy off of a blue and play another yellow energy you can get him in off the same arrival that violent rush bojack comes in but mainly he's going to be your ages pitch for your violent rush bojack that's what most of your blue yellow is going to be then we run one super combo just to give us our arrival if we have it spicy rests a leader or a battle card which is really useful from time to time but zeno does a lot more work in this deck so that's why we run a three one split and sometimes you may even pitch this for your ages and then of course two of these zombies the eliminators if i had more i'd run more this card is so insanely good i just realized it hits unisons i didn't know that before so the fact that you can pay two and stop somebody from playing a unison and that's four or less just really really hurts when you invest that much energy in he also comes out rests something and draws a card so the card just does like an insane amount of stuff for two energy uh so really useful card as soon as i get another one i'm going to be running three in here best card in the game ss bardock fighting against fate this card's just free six energy overwhelm dual attack 25k it's a really big beat stick that you don't want to have to deal with after you've dealt with everything else on the board so this guy just seals a deal and just wins games i think this is the best card in the game everybody should play this in almost every deck and then supreme kind of time space time unraveler this is the secret rare i'm playing i know you're thinking maybe hatch or pycon is really good in this deck they are i don't mean to argue that but she gets rid of unisons and that's all that i have to say it's just that's the reality of the fact if you can get rid of a board and a unison with one two energy essentially there's not really much arguing with me that in my opinion in this game right now and she's easy to play in blue because blue has a lot of energy to play with anyway guys that's been the deck profile this is blue yellow pirates this is my own spicy build that i'm excited to play and test and have a lot of fun with i hope you guys have enjoyed this deck profile if you did enjoy this deck profile and you want to see more make sure to hit that subscription button and come by to the joku shoku and see some shrippums and deck profiles and have a great time and i can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip today would be you don't actually need to floss three times a day a lot of people think they have to floss with every meal it's not necessary you can just floss at night it's fine floss before you brush spend a lot of time doing it get in there really work all the different angles and spend a significant amount of time doing it and don't just make it something where you're snapping the floss in and out. Hang out on the couch, get yourself a Listerine Ultra Clean Flosser so you can spend more time with it. 
really care for your teeth because your teeth do a lot of work for you and they serve you in the long run so you should serve them in the short run and keep them clean i'm joku dmd this has been a deck profile on the blue yellow pirates i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time